This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Greetings, game player. You're about to learn many new skills. Are you ready? Let's go! In these early scenes, punching is best. You gain more points and that gives you more hearts. Hearts are crucial because they give you the extra skills you need to defeat some of your enemies. As we go along, we'll explain tactics. Depending on your energy level, you may want to kick the lopes off. Punching takes a lot of your energy, and these guys punch a lot. You can pick up a barrel and use it as a weapon. So can they. But you can dodge it. More Linda's ahead. Kick the whip out of her hand and keep punching. If your energy level is low, then kick. You get a few points for using the whip. Don't stand on the whip when punching because that picks it up. When kicking or punching, move in close. Now take these doors downstairs. Start kicking to your left right away. You should have three hearts by now, so you can drop kick. Study the manual that comes with your cartridge so that you can master each fighting technique. Some are complicated, but you'll need them. Now for a bobo. Your best bet is to try to kick him off the edge. Be careful, you don't want to go off too. These Loxars are real kickers. Punch or kick them. Dodge the box. You can dodge the Williams Dynamite, or you can pick it up and throw it back. Be careful. This hair pull requires four hearts. So does the over-shoulder throw. A kick is best here to disarm this Williams. After another group of Williams, you'll arrive here. Don't use the whip unless you're low on energy. Remember, you need the points for hearts. Up top, you'll meet your first Chinta. Here's a trick to avoid him. Instead of fighting, you can go partway back down. You'll advance to the next mission. All through this mission, you'll need to conserve energy for the last scene. Just dodge this knife. Watch out for the William in the tree. Keep in close and dodge the knife. You're about to meet a gang of Ching Tai. Kicking is very effective with them if you stay close. If you have four hearts, you can use the hair pull too. Some of our game players have found this part difficult. Watch closely. Stay to the left of the bridge. More Loxars. Kick and hair pull. Don't delay or they'll kick you. These are the techniques that work best. 
When the abobos come out, do a jump kick and knock one down. Now get next to his knees and keep on kicking. Move around to keep them separated and keep kicking. Enter the cave. Dodge the Statactitas. You can get down like this. Watch the lava. Work your way across to these Chintai. If you have six hearts by now, an elbow punch is effective. Otherwise, stay in close and keep kicking. Use your regular techniques on these Williams. The hair pull and over shoulder throw is also very effective. Here's the best way to avoid the boulders. Drop kick right, and you can begin on the first of three abobos. Stay near the edge, and throw these lindas off the ledge. Watch. Remember, you need four hearts for the hair pull. Now go across, jumping and climbing like this. This is a trick wall. Get as close as possible. Wait for the first brick to come out, then run across and jump over the last brick. Again, the hair pull is effective here. Watch the knives. Once they're done, come across here, climb the wall, and avoid the abobo. Try the hair pull here, too. Don't get too close to the edge, or they'll kick you off. Watch the Williams. They'll surprise you. Work your way to the top. Use the moving platforms. We're getting close now. Here's the Shadow Boss's lair. You'll meet a Bobos, Chintai, Lindas, and then Loxars. Good luck. The Chintai. Watch the knife. It bounces off the wall. The Lindas. And the Loxars. Next, you'll meet Willie, and finally, your brother. You'll use these same techniques on both. Force them into the corner and keep kicking. It takes forever. Now here's your brother. This is the way to win.
Good luck. Just keep working them into the corners and kicking. Congratulations, you made it! Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Arrow, the Acclaim remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores per mission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official wireless remote controller, licensed by Nintendo, created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote, the power to move. Begin by fighting your way to the top of this building. Collect the bullets which appear after you shoot enemy soldiers. They can add up to give you more lives. At the top of the building, enter the door to receive a message. Always enter all doors and read all messages. If you skip the messages, you will miss many doors and opportunities. Never miss a chance to catch the supplies that drop by parachute. To get past the electric barrier, swing from the ceiling and shoot the top of the machine. Reactors are hard to destroy. Keep shooting. This is Neutral Area 13. Never shoot anyone in a neutral area. Instead, find the flare bombs you'll need for Area 4. This is Area 4. Work your way to the door at the top of the room. The enemy soldier will get you if you stand above him, but you can destroy the reactor without killing him. Enter the first doorway in this neutral area. Grab the man in this room to get an extra life. Carry your wide firing gun, energy pills and red communicator here. Keep climbing upward and watch out for the rolling balls. Catch this parachute to get a handy new weapon. This is Neutral Area 16. Enter the second door and talk to the prisoner, even though his information seems worthless. Bring your rocket launcher, energy pills, and green communicator to Area 2. After leaving the communications room, go left. Swing across the chasm, then go down the shaft. In Area 3, take your rocket launcher, pendant, energy pills, and green communicator. Be careful, the snow is like quicksand. When the grass starts moving, it soon turns into a giant Venus flytrap. Take the first elevator as far down as you can. Jump on and off the second elevator quickly. Bounce on top of the enemy soldier and head downward.
Bring your rocket gun, pendant, energy pills, and green communicator to Area 6. Get the man at the top of the screen for an extra life. The only way across here is to play Tarzan. In Neutral Area 14, it's very important to bring a gun, pendant, permit, and green communicator. Here in Area 8, you'll need the rocket gun, pendant, energy pills, and blue communicator. Enter all doors. You need to find two messages. You might have to shoot your way through Area 19. Bring your rocket gun, pendant, energy pills, and blue communicator to Area 9. Grab the man sitting on the ledge for an extra life. You can ride the carts across the gaps. This prisoner in Neutral Area 17 has valuable information. Take the secret tunnel that connects areas 17 and 14. Pick up the helmet you'll find here. In this area, carry your new three-way gun and helmet, plus your energy pills and blue communicator. If you can defeat this giant and blow up the reactor, you'll rescue Joe. This is neutral area 18. Remember what Joe told you. The special machine gun is here, but watch out for fakes. Take Joe's machine gun, the helmet, energy pills, and the brown communicator to Area 10. ride the blobs of slime, but only if they take you where you want to go. Ride the floating girder over this dangerous gap. This is Area 11. Bring the same equipment here that you carried in Area 10. Time to play Tarzan again. Now, if you can just cross these flames. Bring your bulletproof vest and brown communicator to Area 12. It takes persistence to destroy the first reactor. Forget about blowing up the second reactor. You are about to discover the terrible secret that lies within this chamber. Albatross is the most feared secret weapon of all. Luckily, it has a weak spot near its tail. 
getting past this giant soldier before the fortress explodes is your final challenge. Keep reaching for the girders. When you really want to get into the game, get Tengen RBI Baseball. The only video game licensed by the Major League Baseball Players Association for your Nintendo. It's you and the pros for Roger Clemens here. Flash Vince Coleman the steel sign. Let Gibson swing for the fences. It's going, going, go! RBI Baseball, the one the pros pitch. Welcome to Mylon's Secret Castle. We can't show you everything, but we can guide you with helpful hints and tips. Are you ready? Let's begin. In the first room, go to these three blocks. Take the money from each side block, then push one of them for four seconds. After it slides over, a door for the first shop will appear. You can buy these jumping shoes for less at another shop. Claiming this music box takes you to a bonus round. Catch the sharps and notes. You'll be paid for these. Avoid the flats. They take away from the amount you earn. Look here for the hidden honeycomb. Finding it will fill all your energy blocks and give you an extra one. The right shot in this area may cause a Hudson Bee to appear. You'll have to run and jump quickly to catch it, but it's worth an energy shield. You can strengthen it by adding hearts. In the next room, get a running jump and shoot the two blocks out of the wall. There's a honeycomb hidden behind this block. If you bought the magic potion earlier, take advantage of it by bumping the glove. Shrinking helps you get around easier and makes you a smaller target. Without the potion, bumping the glove saps your energy. Great, you're ready to leave the fourth room and go back to the third. You found the key and here's the door. It's best to use a joystick equipped with a slow motion mode in this game. You'll find the slow motion feature particularly useful when confronting the demon monsters that separate you from the next levels. As you can see, the only thing to do here is to keep firing and keep moving. It helps to draw a map so you can keep all the rooms of the castle straight. After facing off with the demon monster, this room is a good place to catch your breath and find some money. Another shopping trip. This lamp costs $50 in an earlier shop. Mylon gets it here for $15. Don't miss this honeycomb. The left wall holds this key. The door out of the room is also on the left side. Get ready for this room. You've got some new characters to worry about. Don't waste time. Hurry to the lower screen and bump the glove. Drop down to the bottom right and blast through the end. You'll need this vest in the fire room of the well. Here's where you'll find the door. The well is your next stop. 
touch the glove, then start planning your jumps. If you bounce on this spring and shoot at the left wall, you'll find the passageway that takes you to the next room. The best way to handle this octopus is to avoid it. Drop to the bottom of the screen, grab whatever money you can find, and run to the right. Welcome to the fire room. Discovering this trap door seems lucky. Until you see where it leads you. Once a demon monster has been eliminated, grab the crystal ball. Back in the fire room, use your new strength to shoot an octopus with your big bubbles. Once you do, you can fly away in your personal balloon. If Mylon spends too much time searching the ledge, the weather can turn stormy. You can run through an empty chamber to come out on a different level. The wooden window on the far right is your next destination. Another demon monster. And if you're lucky, another crystal ball. It's crucial to have as much energy as possible for this demon monster. Each of its hits will cost you two energy blocks. You got him! You'll have to make your own stairs for this room. Pay attention to the hints in the shops. Later you'll see just how important this hint is. Here's your exit. The money in this room reappears several times, and it's ready for the taking. Power up before meeting the demon monsters. You can stay in one spot and pick off the small demons as they materialize. This is an easy way to collect hearts. Next demon monster is down here, under the fireplace. Shoot the blocks and push one to open the entrance. Good thing your energy levels are filled up. You'll need them. Now you need the water jar. Climb to the ledge and enter through the wall. You can defend yourself better by standing on two blocks of ice. Watch out for the electricity. Touching it won't give you energy, it just takes it away. When you reach ground level, run to the right. Something's waiting for you. The fifth demon monster. Go back to the fireplace and run through the empty chamber. It looks like you've almost made it. But wait a minute, this princess is no lady. Get the scepter. Go in here.
there are trap doors all over the castle. To save steps on the tower stairs, try this. The scepter you got earlier has a matching crown. To get it, you must first defeat this demon monster. Once you triumph over the second fake princess and get the crown, you can look for the real princess. But before you find her, you need the last crystal ball. Now you can enter the throne room. The real princess is hidden on this screen or on one of three others just like it. The screen with the real princess will be different each time you play. You'll have to keep fighting and keep trying. This guard is the last enemy you'll face. Will he destroy you? Or will you end up here? Good luck! Supersonic is the number one bet. It's got no wise, it's a one to get. Arcade action is where you'll be. Supersonic will set you free. No wires! Nintendo, it will do. Games for players one and two. Higher scores is what you'll see. Supersonic will set you free. Your wires. Some levels have hidden chalices. If you don't find the chalice, the level goes on forever. While you're looking for a chalice, watch for a well of hope. Entering the well doubles all your supplies. It takes five bombs to break into a well of hope. There's a hidden key on the last screen of every level. Until you find it, the exit door will be locked. Look at the top of the screen on almost any level for a room of idols. You have to bomb the statues in a certain order to receive anything, but these rooms are practically the only places to find lamps and megaton bombs. You can almost always break through a solid wall by bombing four markers, such as these bushes, down from the top of the screen. In a tunnel, you need super boots, candles, and crossfire. If you get caught without a candle, remember that the exit is in the same position on the screen as the entrance. Run in a straight line until you find the door. If you go directly down the center passage, you'll find the chalice and key. You could use a missile to blast a straight path, but you uncover more pods by using bombs. Here's your first Xantho Lord Globula. Get super boots and crossfire to guard against the amoebas he spits. Then lay bombs near his eye. Direct hits make him flash, and he leaves a key when he dies. Don't waste your award medals buying things you can easily find. You should only buy lamps. Here's a neat trick. Behind the Well of Hope in level 4-1, there's an extra megaton bomb hidden in a block but it will take several bombs to uncover it. Another room of idols. There's a lamp hidden here, so don't pass it by. You'll need that lamp very soon because level 4-2 is another dark passage. Just beyond the first room of idols in level 4-2, you'll come to a wall shaped like an upside-down L. There's a chalice below the ledge. 
Level 4-3 is only one screen wide, so you'll need to start looking for the key right away. It's against the left-hand wall. Level 5-1 is very long, especially if you can't find the chalice. But if you're low on energy, look by this middle block. There are three energy packs nearby. When there's an enemy or a missile behind you, you can't back up, so don't get blown up by your own bomb. When the enemies are coming at you quickly, use the stopwatch to halt time and give yourself some running room. Veripides, the second Xantho Lord, is pretty easy to beat. Lay bombs where you think his head will move and don't let your energy fall below three tanks. If you start to run low on energy or bombs, use a megaton bomb to finish him off. Make sure you have several life rafts when you reach the end of level 6-1. The key is hidden in the bottom of the first channel. You'll also need a full bomb supply before hitting the water. Blast through the help rocks here in level 6-3, then head for the Well of Hope. Break through on the right side, then start searching for the chalice. To defeat Aquarian, try to force him into a corner. Don't forget to keep an eye on your energy level. Stay in the lower part of the screen in level 7-1. You can get caught in the top half with no way out. There's a chalice above the first pool and a well of hope on the right side of the second pool. Beating Leon is just a matter of timing. If you set a bomb when he's on the screen, he'll move up before it explodes. So when he's off the screen, set the bombs where you think he'll land. If you think one of these pools in level 8-1 contains a well of hope, you're right. But don't go in without a life raft, or you'll drown instead of doubling your supplies. The key in level 8-3 is easy to see for a change. Pick it up, then use crossfire to build up your bomb supply again. Golem is actually the most difficult Xantho Lord to defeat. You must keep your energy supply high. If you die, you'll lose half your supplies and your range and have little hope of defeating Zur. Use megaton bombs to finish Golem off, but save a couple for your next battle. Your supplies are depleted when you meet Zur, the last Xantho Lord, but you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by fighting him. Use your remaining megaton bombs freely and remember what you learned battling the other Xantho Lords. If you like this game tape, you'll love Game Player's Pro Tip Hotline. Now you can hear the tips you want to know just by pushing a button on your telephone. To hear this tip again, press 1. For another game tip, press 2. For our classic tips, press 3. Each week, our Game Player's experts choose the best hints and tips for three hot games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just dial and select which secrets you want to hear. Every week, we'll change the games and the hints. 
Try it today. As Kuros in Wizards and Warriors, you'll travel through the deadly forest of Elrond to save the princess from the evil wizard Malkil. Ready? Let's go. Good timing will get you past this demon skull. In the ice caves, you'll need all your weapons to defeat the rock faces. A deadly bat. Use your dagger. Hitch a ride on the floating bubbles in the lava cave. These bubbles are essential to finding one of the hidden keys. You must defeat this rock face to make it to the next level. You'll find a lot of gems and trouble in these caves. Use the gems to bribe the evil guardians on each level. Jump over the evil ghost and watch out for his deadly weapons. Back in the forest, grab as many gems as you can, plus the feather of Featherfall. You'll need that when you reach the wizard's castle. The Queen Spider. When climbing the castle walls to find hidden keys, climb as high as you can and don't be afraid to jump. Inside the castle, there are even more rooms for you to discover. This skeleton changeling comes back to life several times, always larger than before. Keep up your guard while you collect gems in the last stage. Be warned, they may come from the most unlikely sources. Your last enemy will be the wizard. Fire quickly and stay where you can defend yourself. Can you survive? Good luck. If you enjoyed this great game tape, you'll really enjoy Game Players Magazine. Every exciting issue is packed full of hints, tips, and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. You can order a dream subscription to both Game Player's Guide to Nintendo Games and Game Player's Magazine, a total of 18 awesome issues today for only $39.95. Don't miss another issue. If you want to play to win, call today, 1-800-458-4145. Call now. Our operators are ready. Remember, this number is for subscription orders only. That's 1-800-458-4145. The dream subscription for Nintendo game players.